All right, so we have another review question. Um, this is number two from your uh, review worksheet given on Monday. Um, an AP Sets class has 45% who, um, in an AP Sets class, 45% have never taken an AP class before. 30% have taken one AP class. The rest have taken two or more. Mr. Corp decides to place students into groups of three to work on a project. What is the probability the first group member assigned to you has at least taken two AP classes before? Now, there's a couple things going on here that can trick you. Um, now, it says that you're placed in a group of three. So you start thinking about geometric and binomial, and you think it might be binomial. Um, and then you see the first group member, and you're starting to think geometric assigned to you has taken at least two AP classes before. You see these percentages too and you might be thinking, oh well that is a um, Venn diagram type thing. But notice a person can't take um, one ha have a person could have never taken zero AP classes as well as one AP class. So whatever those percentages are, they're going to be different size circles. Um, they're disjoint, so it looks something like, you know, this. The Venn diagram wouldn't have any sections intersecting each other. And here there might be um, zero, this is the people that have never taken an AP class. So let's label that, oops, <clears throat> no AP class. Okay, all those people in that group are completely separate from this group who have taken one AP class before. And all those people are separate from these people that have taken greater than or equal to two classes before. So it's not really a Venn diagram problem um, necessarily where there's an overlap. Um, now the other part is that, is it geometric or binomial? Well, you basically know that all of these, this um, plus this plus this, represents all the students. You either take no AP one AP or two or more AP, and that represents all of the different possibilities, which is one. So um, there's my little artistic rendition of this. Um, really, what you have to think of is that, okay, 45% have taken no AP classes, plus the 30% that have taken AP classes, plus this unknown amount that have taken two or more classes should add up to one. And you can solve that pretty quickly and find out that 75%, I'm sorry, have, are in this group. So that means 25% have taken two or more. All right. Now, you're looking at just the first group member that comes up to you. So you're, you can use a geometric probability, but this is basically your first selection in a geometric model is pretty much just the same as calculating um, one success. There's no failure before that. So you can just assume that that's 25% and that ends up being the answer. So geometric calculates the number of failures before you get to a success. Well we're looking at the first group member in our group of three being a group member that has had two or more years of AP stat. So we don't really, and in geometric, you never care what happens after that. So it's just a simple problem that's kind of tricky by the wording, and a lot of students got stuck on it last year. So kind of strip it down and make it an easy problem to do. Ignore all the um, deceitful things going on in it.